Today, we're back with another pickups video to show you guys everything that we picked up at our recent trade night. So many people to thank and know that, like, like you said, this is, this is only the beginning. Welcome back to Card Talk. Thousands of people. Collections, card shops, and collectors. 47.5, you're, you're good to go. All right, man. <laughs> a lot of time ahead and a lot of opportunity to, to, to make this place special every day, so. All right, what's going on, YouTube? Cardflex2 coming at you here with a brand new video. And today, I'm back to show you guys everything that we picked up at our recent trade night in our card shop uh, just last week. So we've got a bunch of different stuff here, and as always with these videos, uh, because of the amount of people that show up to trade night, some of this is going to be stuff that I picked up, a lot of which you would have seen in the vlog. If you have not seen that, the link will be down below, so make sure you guys check that out. Um, but some of this is also stuff my team picked up, so I don't necessarily know what we paid for it, but I still, uh, still want to show it off as it is part of Trade Night Pickups. So uh, there's going to be a lot of different stuff in here. Again, a lot of it you've probably seen in the vlog if you've seen that. Um, check it out again if you have not. It was kind of fun. Uh, it was the first time it ever rained at a Trade Night but it didn't just rain, it absolutely poured. Um, so added a different element to trade night that we're certainly not used to. But shout out to everybody who, uh, who came out, uh, who made deals, and uh, who watched the vlog for sure. So let's just get right into it because we have a good amount of stuff to show off. Uh, this is probably one of the cooler pickups of the night. Uh, I was not involved in this, but a Sam Howell Spectra 1 of 1 RPA. Looks like he's going to be the guy going into the season for Washington. Had a pretty good game at the end of the year. I uh, believe he beat the Cowboys. What was that? Um, like Thanksgiving weekend? Did he beat the Cowboys? Either way, uh, was it Thanksgiving weekend? I'm trying to think of what it was. It was like near New Year's. I just remember him beating the Cowboys. Um, but Sam Howell, 101 from Spectra, actually uh, sells pretty well. I uh, got some random stuff here. Uh, Moses Moody, T-Law, uh, Olave, Joey B., uh, Justin Fields, uh, Z-Team, Insert, Lamar, Donris, uh, Duarte, Orange, a uh, nice Hendon Hooker auto. Actually sells pretty well. It's going to be interesting to see what he does in Detroit, see if he ever gets any minutes. Uh, it's out of $4.99 refractor auto from Bowman U. Uh, Justin Fields, rookie auto from Donris. This is the portrait auto. It's numbered 41 of 49. And then I don't know if there's more of these, but I did see that there's three David Njoku uh, optic rookie autos from 2017 optic uh, you've got 72 of 75 uh, this one's out of 99 and this one's out of 50 so three different Njoku rookie autos he's a brown so he'll uh, he'll definitely sell and shop all right moving on we've got a nice Josh Allen parallel from Obsidian uh, it's number 94 of 99 uh, Fargus gold disco 10 of 10 not super familiar with him uh, T Law Select, Joey B. Uh, clearly, that's from uh, that's from Chronicles. I think this is a rookie or second year. Sec so it's uh, Moore's a rookie in 18, I think, and McCaffrey's a rookie in 17. So it'd be a rookie for Moore, but it's out of 45 dual patch. Obviously, neither one of them are still there. Uh, Pete Rose, Charlie Hustle Auto. A cool card, but they don't sell for a ton. Uh, Brian Edwards, Illusions, Box Topper Auto. Deontay, Contenders Optic, Hollow Rookie Auto. Uh, Ant-Man, Blue Retail, Quartzite 10, nice Kobe 05 Finest, 9, uh, Bichette 10, uh, Garrett Wilson, Rookie of the Year, and Ohio State Buckeye, uh, first round wide receiver, nice 9-5 green, little color match, another Ohio State first round wide receiver, Chris Olave, PSA 10, uh, Mahomes, Champ Ticket, numbered to 99, and then this looks like a booklet of Devin DuVernay, so... Nothing exciting there. Nothing too exciting, I should say. Alright. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, this is some of the stuff I got from my friend Logan. He had some cool stuff. Uh, nice Jameer Gibbs, numbered out of 50. Pat Tillman, NT, out of 99. I intend to keep that. Uh, Montana Auto, out of 20. Just thought that was too cheap for Montana. I'll grab that. Christian Watson, Contenders Auto. I've talked about him before, but... Looks like he's going to be the number one in Green Bay. Uh, dude's already a beast. Obviously, doesn't have Rodgers throwing him the ball, so it'll kind of depend on what Love can do, but I think he's going to have a big year. Uh, so we've got a couple of those. This one was really, really, really sick. Uh, Zamir White, Josh Jacobs, Bo Jackson, triple patch, uh, numbered out of 10. 
Watson, uh, Checker, and Joku, gold vinyl. Love the gold vinyls. Great parallel. Uh, then you got a T. Higgins, pretty sick patch for the Bengals, uh, numbered 6 of 15. Uh, this is cool. This is the last two nines for the Bengals, uh, QB. Joey B. and Carson Palmer, 7 of 30. Thought that was, was neat. Uh, ETN, Ricky Auto, T. Law, Ricky Jersey. Uh, been calling him Benedict Mathurin because I thought that's what it was. Um, but I think it's Matherin. Uh, new breed rookie auto. Either way, was my pick to win rookie of the year. This dude is the real, real deal. Uh, not a great auto. Definitely not a, a ton of effort there, but I still think he's going to be a star. And then Oscar Gonzalez, rookie auto out of 249 from Chrome. I think he got some cheap slab stuff. Uh, Garrett Wilson, Garrett Wilson, Garrett Wilson, Chris Olave, a Aiden Hutchinson, uh, more Aiden Hutchinson, and yeah, more Aiden Hutchinson. Don't like him, but he's good, and he sells. Uh, I got a Matisse. No, I thought it was Matisse Thibault at first. It looked like him. Uh, it's Jaden Springer, gold patch from Selects, numbered at 10. Got a cool one here. This is a old school Billy Sims exquisite patch auto out of five. A little retro. Uh, definitely wish it was Barry Sanders, but still a really cool card. Not something you see every day. I think that's 2010. Yeah, 2010 exquisite. Uh, I think that was the first year they did College Exquisite because 2009 was like Stafford. We've actually ripped that before on the channel. Um, 2009 was like Stafford, Sanchez, those guys. Um, and it was pro jersey. 2010 was like Gronk, Tebow, Bradford, uh, that class. And it was college. Uh, Ian Book out of 50, Notre Dame guy. Uh, old Notre Dame coach last year. Now back to his alma mater. Three-time consensus All-American, James Laurinaitis. One of the best college linebackers of all time. Uh, auto to 25. Doesn't sell for a ton, but... Sells around here. Speaking of sells for a ton, uh, these actually, these crunch time inserts sell better than I expected them to sell. Um, they're pretty cool, but they sell, they sell pretty well. A um, little surprised by that, but there it is. Nice Joey B. Uh, Herbert, this is like teal or light blue or something out of 175. Uh, cheap Mahomes 10 and a Burrow Elite Pink 9, which I think is the retail parallel for the pink from Elite. Uh, moving on, so we got some stuff here. Uh, we've got a Jabari Smith auto at a 199 from Wildcard. Ripped a little bit of that on the channel. Uh, it doesn't sell for a ton, but it's actually a fun product to rip. I've enjoyed it. I know we've done a couple box battles and stuff like that on the channel, so fun product. Got to meet him once. Really, really nice guy. Really, really, uh, really down to earth. Uh, Scary Terry, Ricky Auto, Chase Pink, Mitchell, some like local stuff. Uh, Kyle Pitts. Always love these cards. The Gloves from Immaculate, numbered out of 68. Nick Bosa, Herbert rookie jersey. Uh, pretty cool one here, one you don't see every day. This is numbered out of 350. Max Scherzer, USA Baseball jersey auto. Look how young Max Scherzer looks. Uh, Carlos Boozer auto out of 50. Alec Pierce patch auto out of 35. Nice Chad Ocho Cinco out of 15. Game worn patch auto. It's kind of cool. Not the best auto, but still nice. Newest Eagle, going to be interesting to see what he does with uh, with Hurts in that offense. Could be a big year for him, we'll see. Uh, but Swift, Auto from uh, is it Zenith, Zenith, doesn't matter, uh, out of five. I know somebody will get fired up in the chat, <clears throat> so sorry in advance. Uh, Garrett Wilson, Disco uh, from Prism No Huddle, variation. And then a James Harden, 10 of 10, courtside uh, from Hoops. Looks like a few years ago, Sona Rockets jersey. All right, uh, it's Scary Terry, rookie auto again. Been buying a lot of him lately. I didn't, you know, certainly not intentional, but he's a Buckeye and he's a top 10 wide receiver in the NFL, I think. Um, so if they come in, we'll, uh, we'll grab them. And it seems like they've been coming in a lot lately. Garrett Wilson, Mosaic, Scripps, rookie auto. Uh, Anthony Edwards, light blue. It's an eight, so not great, but so cool. Allen, 10. Shea, first team all NBA. Uh, Herbert, eight. Tyler Boyd, Genesis 10, great shop card. Halliburton, Jay Jets, one of the more liquid guys. This dude's going to be a star. It's going to be interesting to see what happens in Philly after their uh, abysmal Game 7 performance. Uh, Jason Tatum with 51. I think the only player ever to have 50 or more in a Game 7 game. Uh, beat the brakes off of the Sixers. Embiid and Harden were kind of nowhere to be found. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. Are they adding pieces? Are they breaking them up? What's going to happen there? Uh, but this dude is... For sure, the real deal. Garrett, 10. Speaking of, the real deal, 51. Jason Tatum. Uh, A.J. Brown. Uh, retail red. Chase, 8. It's like the, I think the yellows are from like Dollar Tree. 
Uh, and then an Anthony Edwards Flux Silver 9. So, talk about it a lot, but we can always use that cheap slab stuff. I think the Tatum is probably the most expensive, but there's certainly some $15 to $30 slabs in there, and that kind of stuff always moves. Uh, Lamar Jackson Jersey, uh, Wander, Triple Jersey Auto, JK Contenders. Uh, that was a gift. Carlos Hyde Exquisite for my guy Chad. Uh, big, uh, big Carlos Hyde guy back in the day. Dude was, was fun. Speaking of fun, Ohio State running backs. Uh, Eddie George, all-time guy, Heisman Trophy winner, really, really cool signature, awesome card. That'll definitely uh, be one I look to keep in the PC. Zion 9, Trey 9, Burrow Fireburst from the Fanatic sets from Phoenix from 2020. Uh, more Joey B, again, probably the easiest guy to move in shop. Fields, uh, Shock, and Pink. Uh, some cheap jerseys. You got a Dirk, an old school, numbered at a 250, kind of cool. Uh, Ray Allen at a 149. LT rookie, uh, Dominique at a 10. As you can tell, just so much variety. You just You really never have any idea of what's going to walk in shop, yet alone on a trade night when there's way more people. Um, so I think this video is great proof of that. Joey B, Randy Moss Bowman, uh, John Elway, On Card Auto. I, th I forget what these are from. I thought it was Panini 1, but it doesn't look like that, so I'm not sure. Uh, Jeremy Swayman at a 499. Uh, Mason McTavish, Young Guns. I honestly thought that's where the number one pick was going to go with Bedard at first. I'm thinking McTavish, Zegras, Bedard, like, make Anaheim good, but then it made sense for one of the original six, like the Blackhawks, to get it. So, unfortunately, it wasn't CBJ, but uh, McTavish is good. Uh, Chase 10, Chase 10, again, that cheap, cheap slab stuff. Sauce, Kenneth Walker, Kenneth Walker. And then a couple Tiger 10s. Not, nothing big, but Tiger's one of those guys. We don't see a lot of his stuff. Like, it doesn't walk in every day. Uh, but when we get it, it it sells for sure. For sure, for sure. Uh, this is one I'll probably intend to keep because I think these are game used. Uh, but how about a Braxton Miller flawless patch auto? That's from the spin move game. Again, I think people forgot how explosive Braxton Miller is with the football in his hands. One of my all-time favorite college football plays. Uh, dude was electric. We were talking about it on Card Talk the other day. Somehow the whiteout got brought up on Card Talk. You know, what that was like. And Braxton, one of Braxton Miller's biggest moments uh, was like a, was a fourth and one, third and one. I forget what it was, but it was basically on the goal line. And he runs to the right and like backs up and like stops and then goes forward. It was, it was crazy, man. That's when I was like, this guy is just, he's so different. Uh, didn't really work out in the pros. It was on a few teams, right? Uh, Browns, Texans, a few others. I think he was in Philly for a little while, um, but fast. So one of my favorite all-time guys. Downtown Adrian Peterson Kaboom. What? Love the downtown or er, Adrian Peter. Downtown Adrian Peterson Kaboom. That doesn't even make any sense. Uh, Adrian Peterson Donruss Downtown has nothing to do with a Kaboom. Uh, my apologies on that, uh, but love the downtowns. Cool parallels. Cool. Uh, photography. Another cool one, uh, Bo Jackson for the Raiders. Uh, Joe Sackick, Jersey, and then Carter Hart. Made a couple deals with some uh, younger collectors who came all the way from Pittsburgh. That's where I got some of the hockey stuff and some of these ones here. Uh, shout out to everybody again who, who came out to, to trade night. Had a couple people drive from Cincinnati, Pittsburgh, uh, Illinois, just really all over. So always so cool to see. So um, appreciate y'all for, for coming out. Uh, Watt at a 10. I figured I'd pick this up. He's just retired. Uh, Going to be eligible for the Hall of Fame the same time as Brady. That'll obviously add demand to that class. So I thought it was just a cool cheap buy of a guy that's very, very likable, has a personality off the field, uh, and will be a first ballot Hall of Famer. Uh, Walker, Optic, Red, Green. Desmond Ritter, Auto at a 125. Ritter, Phoenix at a 35. Uh, Mac Jones, Red, Green again. Drake, London at a 99. Uh, T-Law, Red, a Bradley Beal one of one printing plate, a Roger Craig auto, a Hassan Reddick auto out of 50. Uh, and then again, if you watch the vlog, uh, worked with a younger collector on this one. Uh, don't know much about it, but I thought the mascot, car mascot card was cool. A TC Bear opening day auto. So don't know much about it, but thought it was a, a cool card. So uh, again, shout out to those of you who made it this far. Um, I uh, also noticed before we started recording, this is actually the 1,000th uh, video that will be uploaded to our YouTube page. Uh, kind of crazy. It's been 1,000 at this point. So uh, 
man, if you made it this far, real MVP for sure. Definitely appreciate it. Uh, we've got some cool stuff coming soon, but a um, thousand I was recording, or I was getting ready to record, and they're like, yeah, this is actually the thousandth video. So uh, kind of crazy. I remember making videos about the National and Derek Carr PC and all of those things back in the day and uh, never anticipated we'd get to a thousand videos and kind of grow it like this. So it's uh, it's been a heck of a journey. Super, super uh, grateful for those of you that continue to watch. But again, stay tuned. We do have some very cool stuff coming soon. But for now, guys, that's all I got. Peace, guys.